As we gather here today to discuss the transformative potential of artificial intelligence in improving gender equality in the workplace, we should reflect on the strides that we have made so far. Over the past few years, we have witnessed remarkable progress in our collective pursuit of gender parity, both in Turkey and in the United States. Collaborat collaborative partnerships uh, with public and private institutions and organizations, including the American Chamber of Commerce, we have championed women's empowerment and do so every day. From providing critical support to women entrepreneurs in the aftermath of natural disasters, to breaking down barriers in high school sports and other sports, to promoting careers in cybersecurity, we have been and always will be unwavering in our commitment to nurturing the talent and ambition of women across all sectors. And I am accompanied by over 120 US businesses that have come here to Istanbul for our Trade Winds Business Conference. They're here because they see the opportunity to partner with businesses in Turkey and also around the entire Europe and Eurasia region. The fact that we have such a large delegation is testament to the fact that the business community sees the opportunity. Um, trade Winds is our largest annual Department of Commerce-led trade mission, and every year it rotates to a different part of the globe. I've had the privilege of leading it for three years, in 2022 in Dubai, in 2023 in Bangkok, and this year in Istanbul. Interestingly, when we launched Trade Winds in 2008, it was here in Istanbul, and this is the first time ever that we've returned to a city. Again, a testament to Istanbul and Turkey as being such a trading capital. Ambassador, would you like, or Consul General, would you like to elaborate? Sure, um, thank you so much. We are so delighted to have you here thank you. Um, and to, to bring trade winds to Istanbul. As the Under Secretary has said, we, we really believe in the potential. Um, Turkey is such an important partner for the United States. Our trade relationship is strong and vibrant and growing every day. Um, the United States is Turkey's second largest trading partner and we are very, very pleased um, that uh, as of 2022, total <coughs> trade in goods and services reached $42 billion. So those are um, uh, uh, factors that we are very proud of and we are continuing to, to promote. Um, and as the Undersecretary said, <coughs> Tradewinds' return to Istanbul is truly a reflection of this incredible city's potential <coughs> as the commercial uh, hub not just for Turkey, uh, but for the, for the region writ large. Um, I'm very, very pleased that in addition to trade wins, um, another very important uh, uh, endeavor that we are undertaking is the Select USA Summit, uh, which I have the great honor to lead in June. Um, and perhaps the Undersecretary might share a few words about Select USA. Once a year, we host the Select USA Summit, which seeks to attract companies from around the world that are looking to invest in the United States. For 12 straight years, the U.S. has been the number one destination for foreign direct investment. We don't take that lightly, and we work hard to keep that status. To give you a sense of how significant Select USA is, last year, we had almost 5,000 participants from over 80 countries around the world and they ranged from the world's largest sovereign wealth funds to startup tech companies from countries around the world who saw the opportunity to make it in the United States. Last year, the Turkish delegation to, trade, uh, to select USA was 35 different countries. It was one of the largest delegations globally, and this year we are so pleased that the Consul General is going to be leading an even larger delegation of Turkish businesses. Also, as the Consul General mentioned, U.S. companies see such an opportunity to partner with, Turkish uh, with businesses from Turkey, not just in Turkey, but throughout Central Asia. The businesses here have long-standing relationships throughout Central Asia, and we believe that by partnering together, Turkish and U.S. businesses can bring cutting-edge goods and services 
throughout Central Asia.